great to be here today. Um, as most of you know, I'm the President of Athletics New South Wales, but I live here in Newcastle, and so I think this is the best and most important event on our calendar. Um, not only because it's here in Newcastle, the Hunter, um, Hunter Centre, but also because um, we attract such great participation, not just from the athletes, but the crowd themselves. And I think that's a really unique thing about this event, that we get the people involved. They're out on the track, the last event last year, um, they really do enjoy this event. I enjoy it. I enjoy it more than any of the other events in Australia because of the, the feeling you get at this event you're so close to the action. So I think it'll be another fantastic event this year. I can't wait to be here. But look, I, I have the, the pleasure just to obviously welcome everyone, but just to recognise and thank a number of our key partners that, uh, to Lake Macquarie City Council. I think Sylvia Mayor, thank you for coming along. Um, and to the whole of Lake Macquarie City Council, your support is really invaluable. Um, and also to the firm in 15 earlier this, this year. To the Greater Building Society who have been with us since its inception. Um, so Chris Carter, I think is here. Oh, there she is. Hello Chris and thank you and welcome again, Chris. Um, and to Steve Govard and the whole team, Ingrid, at, um, at the Greater Building Society. Without your support we couldn't do this. Um, the Ibis Newcastle, the home of the Hunter Track Classic. So the Ibis look after us um, for accommodating all our athletes and officials. So uh, Thomas Klotz, oh, who's not here today, but um, the, the Ibis have been a partner of the Hunter from day dot. Um, to Lisa Spry, who's here from F3 Motor Options. They uh, have become our live stream sponsor for, ne uh, for next year. The live stream's been pretty important to athletics and to the Hunter Track Classic. It's where the concept of a live stream started. So we, as you probably all saw it, about 5,000 people saw it last year, tuned in to watch a whole live stream and Robbo and, and Mossy uh, anchor that. And on the strength of that, this year, um, all um, of the tour meets will be live streamed. That starts in uh, Hobart and finishes in Melbourne. And um, they, Robbo and Mossy must be doing something all right because they're going to anchor. Have we announced that yet? Just happened. They're going to anchor the live streams. And I, I've indicated to them, don't forget where you came from and uh, that they have to make constant mention of the Hunter Track Classic in all their streaming. So well done to those guys. Um, also to some of our race sponsors, Rain and Horn Newcastle, Jason Maxwell, again a, a long time supporter of the Hunter Track Classic, not here busy working, but thank you. Um, a chief financial group, formerly known as Lawrence Rundle and Rapson, and to Dave Rundle there, thank you for your support. Um, and Terry and Michelle O'Carroll, who I'm not sure are here, but to thank them for their support uh, as members of the Friends of the Hunter uh, Track Classic. To our media partners, obviously to NBN and Mike Rabit and, and Michael Kane, thank you for your ongoing support. Again, uh, the media coverage and the commercials that we, we get on TV, we can't do without your support. To Newcastle Herald and of course to Josh uh, from the Maitland Mercury here today, so thank you for coming along. Um, and how can I forget um, or not forget uh, Colin Southworth and uh, his team here at the Hunter Sports Centre, arguably one of the best tracks um, in the country. Yeah, this will be my first competition since the Glasgow Commonwealth Games, so I'm expecting <laughs> to, um, yeah, get the crowd going. Now, when you do the heptathlon, you look at the, the program of something like the Hunter Track Classic, you've got any number of events you could put your name next to. What do you think you might uh, compete in on the 31st of January here? Yeah, I've had a look at the events, and there's quite a few heptathlon events on the program. I'll probably be doing the shop book, which is the first time I'll do a field event at the Hunter Track Classic, so that'll be a bit of a change. Last year I did three track events, and that was pretty tiring, even though I did the 200 right at the end and still still managed to run a really good time and break the meet record. Um, so I'm, I'm interested in this for, in this two by one, especially if um, Robbie and Mosso are going to be going in, and I think I've got to put a team in and see if I can uh, take you out. But I'm pretty sure you could do that without having to pass a baton, so. But yeah, anyone that wants to uh, put their hand up and run with so, that sounds pretty fun. Yeah, the Hunter Track Classic for me is about having a lot of fun. My friends and family are always here, so that seems to push me a little bit, a little bit more. Like last year, I really surprised myself with running under 24 seconds. I didn't think I was in that kind of shape, but I think it just pushes me because I've got so many friends and family that come out and watch, and I always surprise myself and do well. Joined by Sophie Stanwell at the launch of the Hunter Track Classic. But can you believe, Sophie, that it's been that many months since the Glasgow Commonwealth Games? What an experience it was for you. Yeah, five months since the Games. It's gone by so quick. I can't believe that the Australian athletic season is already here. I can still remember 
competing out in Hampton Park like it was yesterday. Yeah. And the Hunter Track Classic, January 31, this will be the first time you've competed since. Uh, looking forward to launch your season right here at home? Yep, definitely looking forward to putting the competition gear back on and whacking a bib on the front of me and getting out there and seeing what I can do on the track, just seeing where I'm at. Yeah, it's going to be a good test. What does 2015 have in store for Sophie Stanwell? Um, so we've got the Australian Talks kicking off, of course, Hunter Track Classic is the first big one of the year, and then it culminates in Brisbane for the Nationals, which are being held in March. And then we've got a World Championships, which have been held in Beijing in the old Olympic Stadium, so that would be a really cool experience, and that's in late, late August. It's great to be here. This will actually be my first time competing at the um, Hunter Track Classic. I paced the 1500 last year and loved it, loved the atmosphere, so I'm really looking forward to um, getting to run the 800 this year. And uh, just give us a hint, what sort of form do you expect to be in come uh, the 31st of January here at the Hunter Track Classic? Well, it will be my first 800 of the season, so I'm not really sure what to expect, but I started, um, I've started. i moved back from Sydney to the coast um, to the uni break and training pretty hard, so hopefully I'll um, be able to come out with a reasonable season opener and obviously getting to race Brittany, it's, um, I'm sure it'll be a great race. Now, the hunter, Hunter's fastest kid, we mentioned there, it's back on the program again this year. Last year, Dakota finished second, Tia finished fourth, and I want to ask you guys, did you have fun doing the Hunter's fastest kid last year? Yeah. <laughs> I lost my voice, but... Too much cheering from last week at the children's games. Yeah, it was great to verse other people and different ages. And since it was on the home track, it was a good advantage, but... What about yourself, T? You enjoyed it last year, racing in, in front on the same track and then in front of the big crowd that we had here? Oh, it was awesome. Like, and there was a really big crowd, so it really got you all pumped up. And to see like all the other really good athletes compete as well, it was awesome to see how good they were. So it was really good. So we're here with Dave Robbo Robertson, ahead of the Hunter Track Classic, the launch today here at Glendale. And Robbo, what new events are on the card this year? Yeah, well, we've got a, a really exciting relay concept that we're going to unleash, and it's the 2x100 relay. Two runners, one baton, one bend, run like crazy and see who can get there to the finish first. Uh, look, it's going to be fantastic to see the sprinters teaming up, see if they can get those baton changes going well. There's even talk of Mossy and I jumping off the couch from the live stream having a crack at that one. Uh, so that'll be exciting. The big one, Cal, has to be the wheelchair event. Uh, we've got an international field uh, for the Wheelies Magic Mile and headed up by Kurt Fernley, the hunter's very own. Uh, he's an absolute legend. I, I, can't, I don't have enough words to describe how good he is. He'll be making his hunter track debut in the mile. He'll be racing the likes of Josh George, who recently won the Chicago Marathon, uh, Com's, Com Games, uh, Paralympics athlete. It's going to be fantastic to see the wheelies going around here. We've also got the community 1,000 metres. So if you're thinking, I'd love to get along, I'd love to actually get out on the track myself, well, you can come and run 1,000 metres. That's two and a half laps. And uh, bring your mates along. If you do park run, if you do running during the week, come along. You can get a little taste of the Hunter Track Classic. The Hunter's Fastest Kids, the other one. Get your youngsters out here running as fast as they can. And uh, that's going to be great to see. And what athletes have we got locked in for the 2015 event? Yeah, well, look, it's, it's exciting to welcome uh, Sophie Stanwell back. Uh, she's come off a fourth position over there in Glasgow. This will be her first competition since Glasgow. Can't wait to see her. She's got, she does have tathlon. She's got her pick of sports. She could do any of them. She's going to throw a shot put. She'll probably run a 200 metres. She might even jump in the long jump pit as well. So that's going to be really exciting. We've also got uh, Tazzy Tosser. Uh, Hamish Peacock, he got a bronze over there in Glasgow, he throws the javelin, he won last year at the Hunter Track Classic, we welcome him back again this year as well. Uh, Georgia Wassell, she's from down on the Central Coast, she'll be running in the 800 metres, making her debut here at the Hunter Track Classic. Everything she touched last year pretty much turned to gold, or at least bronze, and uh, she is an outstanding young athlete, only 18 years old, and we can't wait to see what she can do here on the track. Many, many other uh, big names. Michael Rozier, the Athletics Australia Para-Athlete of the Year. He'll be looking to set a world record in the men's 1,500 metres for a T46 classif classification. So, uh, look, plenty to sink your teeth into, and we urge everyone to come down here on the 31st of January to the Hunter Sports Centre. And why is the Hunter Track Classic uh, so important on that Australian Athletics Tour. Why is it so entrenched and important an event right here in Newcastle? Look, it's, it's just got so much going for it. As we all know, the beautiful Hunter region has so much to offer. We've got the laid-back attitude to go with the scenery, and it's the only national athletics event outside of a capital city. 
Uh, so it holds a very unique uh, place in the sporting calendar. And people, the athletes, the coaches, the officials, they all just love, love coming here. It's got that little bit of showbiz vibe about it as well. We roll out the red carpet, we've got the DJs happening. They even turn the lights off for effect every now and then. So it's a, it's a great show. People love it. It's great for the sport of athletics. We're on the countdown month ago. Thanks, Robo. Get yourself here. Hunter Track Classic, 31st of January. Where else would you want to be?